Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4. Playing Venice still and we have almost got the entirety of Italy in our hands. We're also working on Greece against the Ottomans and in fact I think we're on our way to recreating almost half the entire uh, Roman Empire. Which is kind of weird as Venice to be honest. But uh, wow, our force limit... Really? I hate you, Austria. I really do. In the middle of coring is when they decide that's a good idea to do. We've already treated it harshly, which is the worst thing of all. So it will have a lot long... Yeah, it will have 28 years of nationalism. Of those 28 years, there will be... Ah, they have Defense Act. Um, There will be 10 years of unlawful territory as well. Give me... Oh, God, really? I hate... Uh, Damn you, Austria. Uh, Bohemia is an elector, but since they're Protestant or... Ref yeah, Protestant, I think. They cannot be chosen by the other mostly Catholic rulers. That might actually be... Hang on, that's a fun idea. What if we were to go to war? If there's an Augsburg in the war and Fort's religion... Brandenburg would be unlikely to be possible, but Mainz for enforce religion, Saxony, Cologne, enforce religion. I like that idea. Also, um, France could take over Cologne at one point. Wow, it's going to be fun, by the way, seeing some the Dutch rebels at one point. Hopefully, break off and form the Netherlands from France. Um, that was a conversion. We only have one place left to convert. Then we're done. That's actually not bad. South Tyrol has a really high revolt risk. I kind of need to split this guy up then. Send him to South Tyrol. And can I have another leader active? Actually, let's check. Uh, Armata di Tyrol. Oh, you're over here. I don't think you're necessary in here, by the way. I'm just going to put you on Lombardia for now. We have tons of money, so that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, I'll build shipyards in Ragusa and Istria. It's kind of a thing. Yo, Varaz, yes, you make a lot of money. Napoli, Sardinia, wow, temples, temples everywhere. It's a good idea, actually, temples everywhere. Revolt risks... Athens, Rhodes, Abruzzi, Bari, Lucania. Yeah, the, these Abruzzi, Bari, Lucania are going to be gone soon. It's just a nationalism and forcing a minimum of revolt risk. And Kona is mostly the same. We could harshly treat it and have it gone. How long is nationalism going to be active? 20 more years. Okay, yeah, I'll just drop down 50 points on that for now. Might as well. Just once, um, religious, we have Bosnia reformed. Look at the reformed in the south of the Europe. Protestant is actually quite strong, especially here in Sweden and in Great Britain. Yeah, it's Great Britain nowadays. Protestant, there are some Protestant that's probably Britain uh, colonizing. Yes, it is Newfoundland. Of course, towards the south, it's Spain. Switzerland declared war on Baden. Switzerland is actually... Whoa! 500 ducats are one stability. I will lose the ducats, I mean. That's what... Uh, two years worth of money, but... South Tyrol is now a part of the patrimony, and let's convert it to reformed religion. I'm gonna lock you down for now. Using a lot of the map modes. Look at all the reformed everywhere. Bavaria also, by the way. They are our allies nowadays, aren't they? Yep, they are. Unlawful territory. Yeah, that sucks. Austria, you're an ass. Um, may sabotage reputation. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Uh, we're almost at stability cost down. Time to justify trade conflict down. Defend the law. Also an extra diplomat and spy offense at the next level of espionage ideas. Do like that. Yeah, we're finally getting some stuff with the um, uh, espionage ideas done. Uh, my 
money, money, money. Okay, canals. Yeah, I do want some, Yeah, let's build a canal in Treviso. Johan Leopold. Oh, God, really? They got another one. And we're out of money for a change. Also, we had some leftover people to build. So, we should do that. 62, so I can build seven more. I want one cannon. No, I want three cannons. Yeah, they're going to be expensive. Um, one cannon. Uh, I do want one horsey. So... Um, Corsica, recall the... Did we not have a mission towards Corsica? Uh, at least a hundred. Why isn't it up more? Oh, unlawful territory. Aggressive expansion. Uh, but it's going up by a lot every year. Oh boy, uh, we could offer them an alliance. We actually have room for an alliance. So just for the mission, I'm going to take the alliance. Gives us three prestige. A culture to Cyprus. Reducing overextension. I'm working on it. And we can finally core Lombardia. So I'm going to do that before this claim suddenly runs out in 19 years. Uh, but yeah... Scoring that will be very useful. It will instantly reduce our uh, our overextension. It does take one and a half year to do. Baden access, sure thing. Switzerland is actually getting reasonably strong. Huh. If we go to war again with the Austria, what I do want to get is Bavaria a bit bigger. Augsburg, you're an elector, which is kind of weird. Bohemia is dealing with some rebels. Bosnia has its troops up there. If I declared war on you, um, what the question is, would Austria join in? Probably, possibly. Would Poland join in? Probably. Can we easily defeat them? Likely. Who would be your allies? Bosnia, Riga, and France. But France would join in on our side first anyway, so that's a good thing. Election bureaucrats, Pietro Mestre becomes ruler. Oh, um, why do we actually, hang on, while we have this open, does it actually remove him? No, he's still in power for now. Tech wise, um, we kind of want more admin tech, so I'm going to get with a bureaucrat for now. Actually very close to the next level of military tech as well. Uh, overextension is of course hammering the ghetto in the ghetto beginning in 1516 the republic obliged the jews to live in an area of the city where the foundries known in venetian as getty had been situated in ancient times to wear a sign of identification and to manage the city's pawn shops at rates established by the serenissima many other honor onerous regulations were also included in exchange for which the community was granted the freedom to practice its faith and protection in the case of war. What shall we do? Lose one stability? Gets goods produced or not in my Venice? Grant them a place of their own. They get to... Oh, we do lose a stability for it, but... I like the fact that we will have a few more stuff to produce. Um, 6-5. So you need to go in this. You also need to go there. 15, 16, okay. So we do need one cannon in both of them. There's cannons. Infantry needs one more here. Uh, the cannon takes a long time to build anyway, so don't really matter that we built that one guy there. Uh, so then we have 16, 6, 6 in both armies. It's a good base again. Uh, barracks... 40, 40, 40. Not bad, actually, but... Canals. Um, trade Depot in Friuli. Austria left the coalition against us. The trial! Oh. Yeah, I don't want to lose that much Republican tradition right now, so we're going to take that one. Ah, the nationalism has finally dissipated from these places. 
They're finally part of our country for long enough to consider themselves part of the country. Sort of. Um, Bosnia. Covert actions, fabricated claim on Srbija. 5% chance of being discovered. They have espionage ideas, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh well. Um, Austria, can I not fabricate a claim on you? On That would have to be Krein. Sure, I'll take uh, Krein at one point. Coalition, minus 10 only. Oh. 26 still with uh, Tuscany, and it took Pisa out as well now. We can build more buildings. Let's have an armory here. And there. Oh, we don't have the money. Well, it still lifts up as green, which is a bit weird. Okay, join your armies. So we have two at 28,000 strength. Uh, let's see, what do we have left? We can... Wow! Our Admiral died, but we managed to convert the heretics in South Tyrol. We can have four more, so I'm actually going to build four infantry. Need to tick for the month for one more. Our Admiral's dead. I won't hire a new one until we actually have... Uh... Oh no, they've discovered us. That was not expected at all. Uh, 13 aggressive expansion is all we get. That's not a lot. I wonder if we could just force vassalize them at one point. You have no diplomats to send. We will have them soon. Francis at 125. He's been there for almost 20,000 days already. Uh, neighboring heretic religion, minus 40. Competing great power, border friction. Diplomatic insult against the Pope. How could you? How dare you? We almost have Lombardia. South Brazil, current Rio de Janeiro. It's French, actually. Cosmopolitan Brazil and English Brazil. A new Granada. Aztec, Maya. Saskanok actually has a lot of territory. We can now no longer claim Zeta. Are you kidding me? We just... Uh... Oh well. Buildings. We actually have marketplaces to build. I'll build one <sighs> on Sardinia then. And Varaz next. And then Lombardia as well. Merchants suffering. Give them support. Or minus 10 power for 10 years. I'll spend 10 Diplo power on that. Good, overextension is gone, which should increase our income again by 6 a month. Claim arrivals province beaks or becks. I'll do it. It's still a really weird province to claim, to be honest. Oh no, Vienna! You've discovered us. Minus 30 instantly, holy crap. Yeah, they don't like that we that the uh, huh they don't like it at all. Anyway, military tech level fourteen. The Tanai. Uh Latin caracol infantry infantry fire up by two as well, or point five, and width was up by two. And show outdated, so we're getting more pips, two more pips, but one on. Offensive fire, which is pretty cool. So, 1866 are now my two armies. Three on the flank, six in the back, six in the front, and 12 in reserve, or something like along those lines. Uh, canals. I can build tons of canals. And eventually, I do want canals, a lot of them, because. It will improve the road speed as well everywhere. Oh yeah, marketplace. A one and a two. Not that many docks to build either, which is pretty cool. Let's build one there. We've gained the conquest against Crane. Oh cool, we get a free guy. Diplomacy. Fabricate a claim on Vix. 0.59% chance. It's quite a lot actually, but... What you gonna do? Poland is currently at peace. Personal union with Lithuania. Ooh, that's one hell of a nation then. 
these two are together. Russia is, of course, expanding eastward. One would assume. Ah, uh, well. Ah, Venice. Can I not declare war on the Pope right now? Declare war. Hungary, Corsica, and Genoa. Well, Bavaria would... France would not join. They still have a truce with them. Oh. Wait. Oh, Baden just allied them as well. Seriously. Stop turning off that filter, please. Genoa. If I were to attack you, there would be like, Hey! I'm Austria. I'm protecting this area. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, well. Um, so... Attacking the Pope would bring in probably Hungary and Nigeria and Baden now as well. Ah, Switzerland actually took some part of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, and Corsica, so one, two, three, four. It's not a lot, even though there are ten people over there, which is a lot. It's a revolt risk in Lombardia. It's actually down to zero right now. And we're going to switch these two around so we have our high level next to um, Genoa if we wanted to crash in on them. Which I do want to do, I mean. Right now it's zero over extension. We're getting some admin power back. Sounds like a good plan to take over the Papal State now. Take Roma, Hungary, Corsica, Baden, Genoa. But France would not join because it would destabilize them. Let's see. Um, they are at war with the Great Britain. Oh, at war with the Great Britain. Okay. Interesting. Um, do you not? Wait, why would it destabilize them? Really? Why would it? Poland, Bohemia, Portugal. That's not why. Warning. Embargoed by Spain. Embargoing Spain. Military access, nor near us. Why would it destabilize them if they'd attack, if they join in that war? Because they're already in two wars or something? I have no idea, but um, I think I can fight this one on my own, actually, so. Roma, diplomacy, declare a war. Bavaria would join, which is pretty cool. Hungary, yeah, you know what? Um, you guys are going to come to Ancona. So we can instantly take Roma and Liguria here. Uh, fleet, I'm getting a new Admiral now. Mr. Memo, I'm going to send you there. Don't appear to be any Popa ships, but there might be somewhere. But well, they'll be handled. So these two, then there's Baden, which is being sieged by rebels right now. And Hungary, so two, three, four, yeah, it should be fine. And diplomacy. And hang on, I want you to split in half. Yeah, that should be fine. The rest of you goes there. Oh, we could always crash onto Corsica as well with our troops. Just get the general quickly and then move over. And here we go, diplomacy. Oh, we just claimed Beaks as well. Rival of our rival is Poland. Save the Lombard people in Wallace. In Wallace. Lombard. Actually, hang on. Savoy declare war. Allied with Baden and Austria. Hmm. Yeah. Fabricate a claim on Piedmont. This is a lot, though. Uh, rival of our rival. Wallace. Why would I want to get Wallace? Lombard, Lombard, Lombard. Ah, this is all Lombard people. These are all Lombard, so this is all maybe one day going to be ours. Um, otherwise, we had Poland, right? Plus 16. Yeah, I should do that then. Rival of arrival. Poland. Offer lines could be done, but we'll start improving relations. First, and once this guy is back, I'm going to declare the war. Pope, say goodbye to your little territory. Take Roma. Uh, France is allied to Poland, so... Right? They're not allied to Hungary? Uh, they're not. No, no, no. 
I'm like, hang on, hang on. No, they're allied to Poland over here. See, France. Um, declare war, take Roma, Bavaria goes in. Uh, we don't have yet confirmation that Genoa joins them. Bavaria actually does not answer my call to arms. Unexpected, but okay. They were at a plus, so... Glorious navies are under attack. Forces by Genoa. Just a few. Yeah, I should be able to destroy all the ships they have everywhere. Um, really? You are running away? Are you kidding me? No, no. We, we will catch them easily. Very easily. And the question is how many forces... Oh, Hungary didn't even join the war. Then it's fine. I'm just going to siege up what I want. Yes, Genoa's forces are dead. Roma's forces are dead. Detach the siege. Actually, um, I want all my cannons to be left behind. Oh, you're not done with your fight yet. Detach the siege, but also the rest of the cannons. You guys can come back to Ancona. There we go. Oh no, in the Ionian Sea, and destroy it again. Um, no, 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 just you guys. Okay, who are you at war with? Great Britain and... Oh, still the same people. Oh, okay, um... Lombardia yeah, needs an army right now. And, to be honest, South Tyrol also will need an army. But, now we can actually... No leader you... Leader you and move on to Corsica. Because we can. Dun, 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 dun. That should be fine. That should have everything. Look, when we siege Rome, we get a 100% war score. We just need to get like Juria as well sieged before we can take it. And that's about it. Um, detach the siege. The rest of you go back. And that should be uh, now the waiting game. Genoa has these lands, but we're going to basically force them away now. Yeah, we're going to take their capital, so it's moved over here. And that's going to be... Well, it. We have a lot of cannons. Um, yeah, plus three bonus because of it. And here as well, a plus three bonus. That's very nice. Um, trade depots. No longer claim Sinai. Oh, that was unexpected. Um, yes, one, two, one, two, three, four. They need at least road along the entire coast and preferably along the entirety of Italy. Or inside what is Italy, actually. Um, if I detach the blockade here, the rest of you can actually go back there. Just have that bigger, uh -huh combat bonus once they actually do get out. And Kona can have a dock. It's costing me a lot of Diplo power though, so it's not that great. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Merchants leaving, I couldn't care less. Domestic trade for two years, oh boy. That's actually going to be a lot of drop in trade income. 51 goes... No, it's actually not a lot. Maybe it was just one province then, I guess. Uh, our marine, Parma, surely. is a good idea. Roma, what are you actually? No, not army. Selects. Okay. Um, Roma, province. Umbrian. Okay. Um, Umbrian is... Um, ex well, it's... Uh, what is it called? Same culture group. Doesn't actually... S yeah, same culture group is what it says. Ah, good. Siege of Nigeria. Navies are out. We actually gain a free cog. That's cool. Uh, you guys can come back to Lombardia. We have a free cog, everybody. The one thing, though, these are two really high base tax provinces. So it's going to be expensive to core on the Siege of Roma. And since I don't actually need to keep Corsica, I'm actually going to just move them out. So, um options and I cannot take both 
Huh. Ah, so we need to make a separate piece with Genoa if we want their capital. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a slight issue. Um, then, that means that we're going to make some other plans. Actually, Parma, Parma, you're going to Parma. No leader, back to you. Then we're going to invade the Crimea. I know it's maybe the worst thing to say in this time of age, but it's going to happen because I want Ligeria regardless. Gulf of Odessa, let's go. You're going to go back there. South Tyrol have arrived. Workshops, not that important. Constables. 1.10, that's worth it. Uh, 1.49, 1.69, these are really worth it. Wow, Palermo is really good for a constable then. They must be producing some really good stuff over there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, wine. Wine is always good for production. Oh no, Corsica, what are you doing? Actually, Corsica, I'll just go and white piece you now. Or I could vassalize you for a little bit of aggressive. Yeah, that's. I'm taking two huge provinces soon, so that's too much impressive expansion. Really? Oh, right, we need to siege you for that, actually. Well, that's not a problem. Then we are going to siege you. There you go. Have some fun. Um, over here, transports, and get off. And their fleet is indeed here. Um, drop the heavy ships. And that was the battle in Corsica one. 2nd of June. Genoa. Oh! Oh, just as we land. Yes, uh, I will take Liberia from you. You can come back on there. Um, we could do that. We could actually do admin power right now, but I'd rather start coring this for 160 bloody five. Also, 110 military power. It's expensive, but it's worthwhile. Uh, in that case, I can now also piece out the Pope for full annexation and some aggressive expansion. Phoenician vassal. I could do the vassal plus... No, hang on, I cannot do this, hang on. I cannot force to change Roma's religion. I cannot force it. <laughs> that That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll send the demand. Lost the Casus Belli against Genoa, but they're on the other side of the world now. 120 here, 180 there. You gotta do what you gotta do. And of course, our overextension is dangerously high again army is back inside over there I'm gonna drop you actually off in Nigeria and I should split you in half and send you Tuscany has announced Venice as its new rival well Mamluks are no longer a valid rival and the conquest of Rome happened to us which gives us an extra missionary and yearly prestige okay so, um, maybe at one point we have to take Mecca as well for even more. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, the Ottomans. We now border them down there as well. And they've been taking a lot more land, actually. Oh, um, problematic. Too few rivals. So, Ottomans, Poland, Russia, Sweden, Switzerland. Hmm. Switzerland already hates us. So they're going to be our rival now. There we go. Plus spy offense against them. So now it's Hungary, Ottomans, and Switzerland as rivals. Because the Mamluks are not valid anymore. I want to thank you all for watching. We only have a few provinces to go before we have the entirety of Italy in our hands. <gasps> Amazing. Also, where did the Pope end up? I really want to know. Um, is the Pope not back yet? Doesn't appear to be yet. No, no, no. The Pope is not back yet. He will soon be back, though. 
This will always happen. There must always be a Pope. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with this Let's Play and other stuff that I'm doing. I'll see you guys later.